I now recognize Mr. Bobolinsky for his opening statement. Should I allow Hunter to give his opening statement first? Well, uh, doesn't appear Mr. Biden showed up for his public hearing, so we'll recognize you, Mr. Bobolinsky. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Chairman, ranking members, and members of Congress, good morning. Thank you for this opportunity to speak with you and present my truthful testimony to the American people. I sit here today under oath for one reason and one reason only. The American people deserve to hear the truth. Though the truth involving the deep corruption of the Biden family, including the malfeasance of the sitting president of the United States, might be raw and unpleasant, the American people must hear it. You're presented here today with two narratives in this investigation. A false one being pushed by Joe Biden, a serial liar and fabulous, now under this impeachment investigation for public corruption. His brother, Jim Biden, a 75-year-old man who can't keep his lies straight, including under oath. And his son, Hunter Biden, a chronic drug addict facing two indictments with 12 counts. You also have before you the truth, confirmed by multiple Biden family business partners over many years and backed up by mountains of irrefutable evidence, including text messages, emails, documents, recordings. I am the only Biden family business partner with an impeccable military record. I'm grateful that this country has given me the freedom to be successful. I worked hard to become independently wealthy. I've taken several businesses public, sold multiple businesses to some of the world's best private equity firms. In fact, my business success is why they sought me out. However, what they have done is repugnant to me. I am here today because I'm a patriot and I'm a truth teller. We keep hearing from certain corners that our democracy is at risk and democracy is on the ballot in 24. Yet the same people preaching this mantra know better. They continue to lie directly to the American people without hesitation and remorse. Rep. Dan Goldman and Jamie Raskin, both lawyers, and Mr. Goldman, a former prosecutor with the SDNY from New York, will continue to lie today in this hearing and then go straight to the media to tell more lies. Hunter Biden's defense attorney, Abby Lowell, weaponized his letters to Congress to try to smear my name Mr. and Chairman. mistake the cold hard facts M Mr. Chairman. in an attempt to save his powerfully connected client Wait. and his father. I challenge Mr. Lowell to make those claims on national television so he can be held accountable for his lies. Prior to my successful business career, I was an officer in the United States Navy at Navy's elite Naval Nuclear Power Training Command. I later served as the, chief's, uh, the command's chief technology officer. Please proceed. I apologize for the disruption from the. the okay. Am I supposed to say it's my time, Mr. Raskin? Yeah. But please, Mr. Bobolinsky, please. Okay. Come to order. Uh, Mr. Bobolinsky, Mr. Bobolinsky, please oh, proceed. Okay. Please proceed. I apologize for the disruption from the minority. Okay. Well, I Mr. Chairman, if it save his time, but. He called members of this committee liars, and I just want to know whether the order and decorum requirements of House Rule 11 apply to witnesses appearing before the committee. Uh, do, do the, does it apply or does it not? Should I address? I, I don't. There's hard light. There's decorum from the members. We've asked for that. There's no language that I'm aware of pertaining to a witness. Yeah. Thank you. So, so uh, don't make sure we didn't uh, waste any of his time on the opening statement. Mr. Bobolinsky, I'm sorry for the disruption. Please continue your opening yeah, statement. I think uh, you, Mr. Raskin, used We'll, we'll make sure it's right. We'll oh, make okay, sure. great. I just want to restate, uh, make sure the American people hear all these facts. Abby Lowell weaponizes letters to Congress to try to smear my name and misstate the cold hard facts in an attempt to save his powerfully connected client and his father. I challenge Mr. Lowell to make those claims on national television so he can be held accountable for his lies. Um, prior to my successful business career, I was an officer for over six years in the United States Navy's elite Naval Nuclear Power Training Command as a decorated master training specialist. I later served as the commander's chief technology officer where I held a huge security clearance from the Department of Energy and the NSA. When I left Nuclear Power Training Command, I was the number one ranked direct input officer in the entire command. And then I jumped into the business world and public markets. While I have made a few contributions over the years to Democrats, such as Representative Ro Khanna, I don't see him, but I hope he shows up today. Um, 
He sits on the Democratic side of the Oversight Committee. I'm not a political person. I, came, I come from a family with a long history of distinguished service in our nation's military, including my father, both of my grandfathers, and my brother, all of whom were willing to sacrifice their lives for this great country. My sister serves our military vets for two decades at the Veterans Administration. We've lived our life as a family in service to this great country. I hope the American people will pay a cl close attention to this hearing. I also hope they will understand that some members of this committee will engage in absurd attacks and efforts to, to try to deflect attention from the facts. And I, will and I will present today by questioning my integrity and my patriotic duty. You may see me speak passionately at this hearing, but for good reason. Not only was I willing to die for this country, every single male member of my immediate family was willing to die for this country. I want to be crystal clear. From my direct personal experience and what I've subsequently come to learn, it is clear to me that Joe Biden was the brand being sold by the fam Biden family. His family's foreign influence peddling operation from China to Ukraine and elsewhere sold out to foreign actors who are seeking to gain influence and access to Joe Biden and the United States government. Joe Biden was more than a participant in and a beneficiary of his family's business. He was an active, aware enabler who met with business associates such as myself to further the business, despite being buffered by a complex scheme to maintain plausible deniability. I ask this big question, if there's no evidence of corruption here today, if Joe's conduct and the conduct of his family were fully legal and proper, then why are they so dishonest about it? Not just slight misrepresentations of fact, but deep untruths about the entire corrupt enterprise. Hunter Biden gave his transcribed interview on February 28th and lied throughout his testimony. Here's just one egregious example of Hunter's perjury. He lied to the committee um, on important details concerning his money demands and threats to CFC in text messages on July 30th and 31st, 2017. He leveraged his father's presence next to him in that infamous text to strong on CFC to paying Hunter immediately. Jim Biden also lied extensively throughout his transcribed interview on February 21st and perjured himself. An example of that, on page 100 of his transcript, Jim is asked specifically, do you recall having a meeting with Hunter Biden, Tony Bobolinsky, and Joe Biden? Jim's response, absolutely not. The committee was so shocked by his perjury that they asked him the same question multiple times. Each time he denied meeting with me and Joe Biden. After the committee showed him text messages confirming that I met with Joe Biden, Hunter Biden, and Jim Biden at the Beverly Hilton in May 2017, Jim Biden, with a former U.S. attorney lawyer sitting next to him, still denied that meeting took place. Hunter Biden, in his own transcribed interview, confirmed that that meeting took place. Hunter confirmed his uncle perjured himself in front of this committee. I'm simply here to tell the truth to the American people, and I hope each and every one of you, congressmen and women, give me the opportunity to do that instead of focusing on Russia or smearing my family's name or focusing on facts that are irrelevant today. I yield back.